Journey to the Center of the Earth, inspired by Jules Verne. In a Victorian-style study filled with old books, the professor discovers an ancient manuscript that reveals the path to the center of the earth, and he convinces Axel to join him on the journey. The professor works day and night to decipher the message. The shadows cast by candlelight on the walls make the mystery even more thrilling. The decoded message reveals the route to the Earth's core, hey, no, leaving Axel revealed. terrified and astonished. Axel reluctantly packs his belongings for the journey, while the professor prepares his scientific and exploration equipment. They set sail for Iceland on an old wooden ship, where the northern winds and waves make the trip full of adventure. In Reykjavik, they meet Hans, a calm yet powerful Icelandic guide. They travel through volcanic lands and glaciers, with the wild nature making their progress difficult. They arrive at a massive and terrifying volcanic crater, and the professor decides they must descend into its depths. With ropes and lanterns, they enter the dark tunnels, where an eerie silence fills the air. They reach a vast chamber glittering with crystals, and they examine them using scientific tools from the 18th century. Gigantic mushrooms, and prehistoric plants create an otherworldly environment, and a glowing mist adds to the strange atmosphere. They build a wooden raft and journey across a vast underground sea, mysterious and dangerous. In the waters below, shadows of enormous creatures appear. Glowing eyes terrify Axel. Two aquatic monsters clash, and the violent waves threaten to overturn their raft. They reach the underground shore, where strange bones and giant footprints hint at unknown beings. Tall, human-like shadows move in the distance, increasing the sense of fear. A massive creature with glowing eyes and stone-like skin emerges, blocking their path. They run through scorching tunnels, chased by flowing magma. Finally, they escape through the crater of Mount Etna and breathe a sigh of Upon returning, the professor presents his findings, astonishing the scientific community. Axel takes pride in his newfound courage, and Hans quietly accepts the end of the journey. The adventure ends, but its legend lives on forever. Woo